Okay guys, so what we're looking at here is the first ever, that I'm aware of, electric hybrid golf cart. So, um, the entire golf cart is electric driven. So the electric, um, the drivetrain is an electric motor and you can kind of see the charge controller right there. And so what we have in here is a, um, a DIY Nissan Leaf battery pack it has a give or take 3,500 watts in it. So it's good for about 20 plus miles. So the cart is mainly electric. Um, I have Anderson SB 170 disconnects right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if this thing could run entirely on a DC generator. So this particular generator, it's kind of unique. It's an alpha gen. It was made for telecom stations for uh, backup or uh, charging batteries so it's a dc generator and what i think they did was take a honda eu 3000 and create a custom dc inverter with this so the dc uh, inverter will run 36 volts or 48 volts and uh, my golf cart is 48 volts so what we're going to do is we're going to come off the dc outlet here and we're going to connect into this Anderson I have here and then we're going to disconnect the battery and then we're going to plug this into it and see if we could drive. Um, I suspect this will work in another video I believe I actually had this work in, in a limited capacity but I actually was connected to the batteries so this time we're actually going to completely disconnect the batteries and see if we can go straight from generator. I do believe it'll work. Um, it may not have the full speed and right now I can get about 21 mile an hour out of the battery pack that's in there, my max speed. Um, I did measure the inrush current when I floor it and it's about 197 amps. Again, this is a stock controller, so it's nothing crazy. I don't suspect I'm gonna get anywhere near 197 amps uh, on this generator. But what's nice about this generator is by default, it goes into what they call like an eco mode or low idle mode. And then as it uses more electricity, the um, RPMs ramp up. So I think this would be great for low speed. And then when I floor it, I think it's gonna um, rev up and supply the wattage that this electric motor needs to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook up um, the ends of these two connectors here to the positive and negative over here. And then I'm gonna connect the battery up and um, I'll show you once that's connected and then uh, we'll go ahead and try to pull start this generator and see if we can get it uh, going. I got the two ends plugged into the generator. The generator's generating about 52 volts of DC. I got it plugged in here to my Anderson SP170. And they're on the other side. Okay. okay, so what I'm gonna do now is um, show you over here, this is the actual, goes into the controller. And this part over here, you can see, right there is the part that actually goes into the battery. So they're clearly, they're not connected. What I'm gonna do is take this connector here, just follow it down just so you can see. But so this, this wire here goes into the generator and I'm gonna connect them together from over here. So we're gonna go positive to positive. Okay, so now I don't know if this is going to work. I suspect it will. We're going to go ahead in the golf cart now and hopefully take a ride. And I'm going to put up the speed. Now I do have the generator somewhat secured on the cart, so it shouldn't fly off the back. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sit down and okay. So we're going to put it in reverse. You're gonna hear the engine rev up a little. Okay, now we're gonna go and drive. And it's, the engine I could hear, I don't, I don't have a RPM on the engine, but it feels like it's about maybe 2,500 RPMs. We just gotta get through this. It's a pretty bumpy area we're going through right now, so we're going real slow. But it seems to be responding, the engine's revving up. Once we get out of the road, we'll be able to give it some more gas. You can hear the engine getting louder. We're going about 
about five mile an hour. We're gonna come onto the road. All right, so we're stopped. You can hear the generator idling and we're gonna go. distance I could uh, put the generator on the back and you can see I mean yeah it looks kind of silly and you might even be able to get away with uh, they make this model in a DCX 2000 which is very similar to a Honda 2000 I really don't know if that one would have enough um, voltage to run the part it may because this generator definitely did not sound like it was maxed out so by any means so it's kind of silly on the back of the golf cart, but uh, if you were going on a long trip or you knew you needed to go long distance, this would work. Or if your batteries died, you could uh, hook this up and get yourself home. But now that I have that pack, that lithium pack, I'm just going to go ahead and shut this off. have this um, lithium pack here the mileage on this thing is incredible I literally can probably go 25 30 miles on this pack maybe even longer so um, really don't have a need for this anymore um, but 
you know, what this can also be used for, this, uh, you know, I bought this a while ago, didn't realize all the uses uh, I could use this for, but what I'm gonna try next with this thing is to hook it up to my um, MPPT car uh, charge controller. Keep in mind, this is 3000 watts, so I'm gonna try to charge my um, LifePo, uh, my LifePo battery bank with it.